Have you been going around the same mountain forever when it comes to your hair growth journey? You'll grow your hair out, but no matter what, you're not retaining length. Ends keep breaking, getting balding. You keep shedding like way more than 50 to 100 strands a day. By the end of this video, not only will you know why your scalp and your hair shaft are doing those things and why you can't retain length, you will know exactly how to fix it. So if you're ready to reset your hair growth cycle, then let's get started. Trust that exactly where you are is where you're meant to be. So keep your chin up so your crown doesn't fall. Remember your royalty. But before this video starts, you already know, you have to go ahead and subscribe here to my channel and, and then click on that bell notification so you'll be notified every single time I post another video. Every living thing with hair has a natural hair growth cycle broken down into these categories. The anogen phase, the canogen phase, telogen phase, and the estrogen phase. Different phases are key to your hair growth. And if you do not understand your hair's natural hair growth cycle, it's virtually impossible for you to master your hair growth. It is because of the different things and the different practices that we do with with all of these team natural growth hacks that we've been plugged with for the last 10 to 15 years and all of the other things that we're doing in our house we throw our natural hair growth cycle completely off balance which leads us to breaking thinning and so many other things the first stage of the hair growth cycle is the anogen phase the anogen phase of your hair growth cycle is the cycle where your hair is growing this cycle lasts about three to five years so you should be getting about eight 18 to 30 inches in in that three to five year period depending on your routine genetics and a couple of other factors pop into all of those factors in detail in my blog post so check it out link in the description box below during the anogen phase the hair within the follicle the cells within the hair follicle are dividing at a rapid pace to create new hair cells during the allergen phase of the hair growth cycle. Now, the majority of the hair that is on your head is in the allergen phase at one time. Just scientifically, when we do our research, scientifically, when you do your research, Asian hair has a growth cycle that is a little longer than everybody else's. The normal hair growth cycle is three to five years versus Asian hair, it's about seven years. That's why their hair can get so long because their hair growth cycle be a lot longer than ours. It is what it is. Within the anogen phase, if everything is going right, you should be you should be growing at least a half an inch every month, which leads into you having about six inches at the end of every year. The canogen phase is the transitional phase of the hair growth cycle. This phase signals the end of the anogen phase. And at this phase, the hair bulb detaches itself from the blood supply to prepare the hair to get ready to shed. So, all right, it's been good. We about to go. Now, the telogen phase is the phase of the hair growth cycle where your hair is rested. Remember, you went through the anogen phase where the cells are rapidly multiplying so you can have new hair. As these cells are rapidly multiplying, of course, the follicle needs more room because new hair cells are going. So the old ones detach themselves from the blood supply with inside of the canogen phase. So now that all of this has been going on, remember your anogen phase is three to five years and then after after that three to five year cycle, it detaches itself from the blood supply and then the hair follicle rests inside of the telogen phase. But remember, each follicle has anywhere between one to four strands. So of course, every follicle is not losing every strand. Only the old little dusty ones that need to go. Only the ones that need to go. Because this is the final stage. This is the stage where the hair is released from the follicle and then the hair growth cycle starts all over again with the anogen phase. And that is the hair growth cycle. The average person has about 100,000 follicles on their scalp. And each follicle has anywhere between one to four strands. So the average person has anywhere between 100,000 and 400,000 strands of hair on their head. Now, I want you to remember this your follicles are independent they are not connected to each other at all they all operate in different time frames because if all of your follicles work by the same schedule and the same cycle then what would happen you would be skin 
flawed during the estrogen phase. The average person is losing anywhere between 80 and 100 strands of hair a day. Well, that is because a small percentage of those 100,000 follicles are within that estrogen phase of the hair growth cycle. But see, this is when things get tricky because a lot of the practices that we use begin to throw off that natural hair growth cycle. After serious illness or any type of imbalance within the body, you will notice that the telogen phase of the hair growth cycle is in overdrive, which then leads to something called telogen effluvium. Check the video in the description box below to learn a little bit more about telogen effluvium because I told you guys all about it in a video already. Cause I told you. Mm -hmm. Instead of that resting phase only being over a small percentage of your head for a short period of time, then it goes all over your whole entire head, resulting in you losing a lot more than 80 to 100 strands of hair a day. You're losing a lot more hair than that simply because the anogen phase and everything is completely thrown off. Whenever you're stressed or whenever your diet is off causing stress internally, making your organs and everything on the inside work harder because you're not feeding it with the right types of nutrition to you know power it into fool your body then what ends up happening is your body goes into stress and whenever any type of stress is introduced into the body the telogen phase sets in and this is your body's way of protecting your hair of protecting your follicles it goes into the resting phase where the cells are not multiplying to develop new hair and it's not pushing any hair out it's just like let's just chill and relax until they get their stuff together because I don't know what's going on but it feels like some bullshit. What are the different things that can lead to your natural hair growth cycle being completely thrown off balance? Well, I thought you never asked. I already talked about stress, but a bad diet, bad scalp health, we have good bacteria and bad bacteria all over our scalp. And by you not properly shampooing your hair and adding too much product, you mess up the natural pH balance of the scalp and you allow a lot of bacteria to grow. And when you allow bacteria to grow, the different funguses and bacteria and forms of yeast that are already on your scalp go from a good version of bacteria and yeast to a very bad one. Mechanical follicle damage is a real life thing, okay? And mechanical follicle damage would be something that you would categorize as like braids, attention styles, uh, really, really tight braids, really tight twists, tight scarves, anything that causes tension on any part of the head. That goes into mechanical follicle damage by things that you're doing by pulling and tugging on the hair. Another thing is hydral fatigue. A lot of people have heard of hydral fatigue, also known as moisture Moisture damage. I don't know what y'all be calling it. Moisture overload. Moisture overload. But most people think that's something that only manipulates the hair shaft or only destroys the hair shaft. But in reality, whenever you have hydro fatigue, it goes from the hair shaft up into the follicle. And when you again stress out any part of the body, it goes into telog it goes into the telogen phase and it stays there, resulting in what appears to be balding and thinning. But the good thing about Telogen effluvium is it's reversible. The follicle is not dead, is not extinct, all right, is not <gasps> unable to breathe. Okay, all that is going on when you have telogen effluvium is that your follicle is hiding from you because you've been on that bullshit. Most of the time, you guys, the only reason that your hair is not reaching its desired length has nothing to do with genetics. It has nothing to do with the way, with the products that you're using not working. The only thing that's mattering, mattering, that's not a word, is you doing things that slow down or cut short your anogen phase. The anogen phase of the hair growth cycle is shut down by these things that I just named different products and things like that are tools and sometimes we overuse these tools your body has its own hair growth cycle and by you using different products against the body what you do is slow down the natural hair growth cycle so then you make everything way harder than you need to actually make it and you find yourself spending all of this money on products when you can just have a basic amount of products 
that you use to help you through your natural hair growth cycle. The different things that can help you transition yourself out of a bad hair growth cycle, whether you are stuck in the telogen phase, whether something has happened and the estrogen phase has been extended over the majority of your hair shaft, there are things that you can do to put things back into place. Number one, I know you're not gonna wanna hear this, but hair growth is an internal thing. I need you to remember that the anogen phase, again, is the phase of the hair shaft where within the body, within the body's follicle, right, your hair shaft is producing new cells, not your hair shaft, the hair follicle is within the body producing a bunch of new cells. And then after that, the cells detach themselves from the blood supply and begin to fall out. So by you by you knowing that in the canogen phase, the, hair, the body allows the hair to detach itself from the blood supply, that should let you know that the thing that is fueling your hair growth is your blood supply, right? And what makes your blood healthy? The things that you put in the body. So if you want a healthy blood supply that'll fuel the androgen phase, allowing those hair cells that live in the follicle to produce new hair cells rapidly, then you change your diet. This is why so many people will notice so many different changes within their hair growth cycle after they do something as simple as changing their diet because the way that you eat is what is going to determine how fast and how repetitively your the inner workings of your follicle are producing new cells so you can grow more hair. I really hope that it's making sense. Girl, it's the best that I can break it down. I don't know how else to break it down other than that. You need to lower your stress levels. I know that again, it sounds cliche because you still waiting for me to tell you something to do. You still waiting for me to tell you something to buy. But so far, you don't have to buy nothing, girl. Boy, you don't gotta buy nothing. Stop eating cheeseburgers all the time. That's number one. And number two, chill out. Like, chill out. Stop watching crazy stuff on TV. Stop watching people that don't make you feel good. If it doesn't make you smile, if it doesn't bring you joy, then don't bring it. Because your body reacts to your emotions. I promise you, it sounds woo-woo, but it is very true. And it is scientifically proven. If you are stressing out, you will notice that your body will begin to protect you. When you begin to stress out emotionally, your body is like, you know what? She going through something. You know what? He going through something. So let's sit back and chill here in the follicle till she figure her stuff out because she probably gonna cut us off like on way into excel so you need to make sure that everything that you're doing around you is putting you in a really good mood so your blood is flowing right so you eating good you feeling good like boo i need you up in the morning like every day i don't know like you gotta be feeling good choosing the right products for your porosity and your hair's profile. It is so easy to get sucked into all of this stuff like, oh, you need this product for this, and you need this product for this, and you need this product for this. But at the end of the day, the only thing you need to do is figure out your scalp's profile. And what do I mean by that? Go ahead and check the link in the description box below. Head over to my free blog post, and it will give you a free PDF teaching you how to to gather your own porosity and you guys go google the stuff go google all of these different things so you can figure out your scalp's profile for yourself you know that you have high porosity hair with a low sebum level that's thin and medium density then you know what type of products that you can select for yourself you're not just gonna go inside of the beauty supply store like oh that look cute Oh, that look good. I think that one girl on Instagram will be using that. Oh. Like, you're not going to do that. You're going to go in and select products specifically for you, specifically for your follicle, so you can help your body through the natural, through its natural hair growth cycle. Black women, you have oil coming from your scalp, but because the products that you select work against your porosity and your hair's profile, then what ends up happening is the products and the different tools 
tools and the way that you style your hair works against you and it slows down the androgen phase of your hair growth cycle and most of you are stuck in the telogen phase or in the androgen phase and this is something that is really 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 pivotal for you to have a healthy hair growth cycle you have to work with the body not against it you have to be you have to make the cuticle somewhere that is lax not locked one of everybody's favorite sayings to say oh we gotta lock the cuticle you do not lock the cuticle you lax the cuticle you make sure that the cuticle is relaxed enough to open when it needs to and close when it needs to but if you have it locked down with a whole lot of different products you then incur different hair shaft disorders there are hair shaft disorders that are caused by the molecular weight on the hair shaft being too much and and that in it simply put it means that you got too much product on your hair shaft and your hair shaft too heavy if the molecular weight is too high because you're trying to lock the cuticle down the cuticle don't want to be locked it wants to be free to breathe and to grow and flow okay thank you guys so much for sticking around up until this point and really quick if you have been doing you know, the crazy team natural hacks for years and years and years and you just want to start over from scratch and reset your hair growth cycle from the allergen phase all the way back to the exogen phase then i highly recommend that you sign up for my seven day challenge all right so i'm probably going to be renaming the seven day challenge to the growth cycle reset all right but I want you to sign up right now while you still can this is the second year in a row that I have done the seven day hair growth challenge but this year is revamped and on a whole nother level every year I make it better because I'm listening to you guys and this year we have more participants than ever, so there is no better time than for you to join right now. This is everything that comes with the seven day hair growth challenge. I break down to you exactly what your hair growth regimen should be like at home, step by step, day by day, along with PDFs that break down everything that I'm explaining to you in this video scientifically, along with the steps and different tools for you to use to take your hair growth cycle exactly to the place that it needs to be and the thing is I know it's called a seven day hair growth challenge but after those seven days nothing ends after those seven days this challenge becomes a part of your everyday routine okay and once you are in this seven day challenge community you can join our group and within our discussion group we are holding each other accountable we're talking to each other when we have have problems and guess what you have access to me to ask me whatever question you need answer to get you through this journey let's go sign up trust that exactly where you are is where you're meant to be so keep your chin up so your ground doesn't fall